this is the 2018 impacts and collisions question question five three identical small smooth spheres each of mass m line a straight line on smooth horizontal surface with b between a and c as we can see here in the diagram b between a and c spheres a and b are projected towards each other with speeds 5u and 2u so we have a and b let's start with those they both have mass m a has a speed of 5u which would mean b has a speed of minus 2u traveling in the opposite direction and then c we'll deal with in a minute so we don't know what's going on afterwards here p and q and after the collision find in terms of e and u so we're not looking at e here the speed of each sphere after the first collision so we just have e is equal to e so the principle of conservation of momentum 5m times u or m times 5u so 5mu it'll be minus 2mu is equal to mp plus mq 5u minus 2u it's just going to be 3u is equal to p plus q Newton's experimental law p minus q over 5u minus minus 2u 7u is equal to minus e so p minus q is equal to minus 7 eu or ue <coughs> and we also have p plus q is equal to 3u so simplifying these by adding the equations together we're going to get 2p is equal to 3u minus 7 eu so p is equal to 3u over 2 minus 7 eu over 2 we can factor that in a second from this equation here q is equal to 3u minus p so that's going to be equal to 3u minus the p's so minus 3u over 2 and then it'll be plus 7eu over 2 so q becomes 3u minus 3u over 2 so that's 3 minus 1 and a half so it's just 3u over 2 plus 7eu over 2 we want to factor out the u's or here we could factor out u over 2 that would leave 3 minus 7 e and in q we could factor out again u over 2 and that would leave 3 plus 7 e and part 2 show e is greater than 5 over 7 so one other information after the collision between a and b there is a collision between b and c so b has to catch up with c so the velocity of b has to be greater than the velocity of c for it to be another collision so that's what we're looking at in the next part so what's the collision of the third sphere c 4u so 3u over 2 i'll multiply it out actually 3u over 2 this guy the velocity of b plus 7eu over 2 has to be greater than 4u so bringing one and a half u to the left i'm going to get 7 eu over 2 which have to be greater than 4 to go one and a half is two and a half 5 u over 2 now we can multiply by 2 and divide by u so you can see 7 e has to be greater than 5 e has to be greater than 5 over 7. let's have a look show that e is greater than 5 over 7 and then if e is equal to 6 over 7 show that b will not collide with a again so b is equal to e is equal to 6 over 7 so we'll just apply that in here if e is equal to 6 over 7 velocity of p is going to be 3u over 2 minus 7 times 6 over 7 which is 3u and there's a u in there 3u over 2 minus 6u which is equal to minus 4.5u i should have put that over 2 as well I should have multiplied that out properly so that's actually three and a half so it's one and a half minus 
3, so minus 1.5u. So that's the speed of p. So what's happening with q? So q has gone to become speed of, well, let's see, it's going to be 3u over 2 plus 7 times e, 7 over 2 times e, which is 6 over 7. So that's 3u over 2. Don't forget your u plus 3u. So that's equal to 4.5u. So we kind of have to show what happens when it collides with c to then show that it's not going to turn around and catch up with p. So we've c is traveling at 4u. We now have 4.5u for b. They both have mass m, m and m. So we have 4.5u, 4u, p and q. And we have e is equal to 6 over 7. So the principal transformation, 4.5mu plus 4mu, they're traveling in the same direction, is equal to mp plus mq. So we're going to get 8.5u is equal to p plus q. Then we're going to have p minus q over 4.5 minus 4 is 0.5u is equal to minus 6 over 7. So 7p minus 7q is equal to minus 3u. And if I multiply this one by 7, 7p plus 7q is equal to 56 and 3.5. 56 and 3.5 is 59.5u. So we're going to get 14p is equal to 56.5u. So p is equal to 56.5u over 14. I think this goes in evenly. But all we need to say is that Well, let's just saw this p is equal to 4.03 q from up here that u q is equal to 8.5 u minus p so q is equal to 4.47 u so these are still going in this positive direction here so we can say then though that p here's p here's q and here's let's say ball a the velocity of A is less than the velocity of P, which is less than the velocity of Q. So P is not going to catch up with Q going in this direction. So therefore, we can say no collisions. If P was going faster than Q, we'd have to see what happens again between P and Q to make sure that P doesn't reverse and end up going faster in this direction than A is, which then it eventually would catch up with it on these smooth horizontal surfaces where things just go on forever.